Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to install and execute the Playwright test in very easy way. Okay, so if you are already using Playwright, I mean you are already learned and you are you have implemented successfully without any error while creating the project, you can skip this video. But for those like who are going to get started with Playwright or maybe like started to learn and they are facing and you are facing some issues in installing the playwright then definitely you should watch this video so when i created the uh, playwright project uh, the entire tutorial series it was like last year and that time uh, it was that video is correct but there are a lot of changes in the playwright test and it is included with the playwright test or not now so we have to do some changes now okay so let's get started now it's going to be very easy first of all make sure you have like uh, you have installed the git bash here just go to google um, search for github git bash download and that's fine okay why we need this in the sense like um, we are going to use the git bash as our command prompt okay so in windows system you can you know that we have like command prompt apart from that we have this powershell as well right this one windows powershell right uh, if you are going to use the windows powershell for that we have to use one code so that we can run all our script and windows command prompt is definitely not a good idea because it does not support any of the linux based commands like the grep or uh, other things okay so my suggestion will be using the git bash okay so first of all i'm going to create a new folder here let's name it like learn dash playwright something like that it can be anything okay once you created a folder just go inside that folder and here just type like cmd uh, that will bring the command prompt here okay then type code then followed by dot so what what it will do means it will open the vs code with that particular folder okay once that is done so once you open the vs code here you can see like we will we will be able to see like learn dash playwright that is our um, project folder okay now here we can see like extensions vs code extension go to go there click on that and search for playwright there are a lot of extensions one is from microsoft and another one is from kaushik chatterjee so go with the microsoft okay so go and click on click on this install it will take few seconds and that's it you are pretty much done okay now what you have to do is just give like Control shift and p together it will bring the command palette then you can search for like playwright and here you can select the first suggestion we are getting is like install playwright okay so click on that and here it will ask like three options like three browsers what are the browsers you want to execute okay so of course we are going to try on all the browsers so by default it will be checked you can leave as it is if it's unchecked make sure you are going to check and if you want to run in the github actions probably you can enable this but as of now you can skip this because already i have a dedicated video for that you can check out that one okay and click on this okay now here you can see like it will bring some um, command prompt kind of like terminal and here it is the command like npm init dash i mean playwright at the latest like it will go and download the latest version that is 1.22 okay and here you can see like it's going to download all the browsers like webkit firefox and the chromium now here you can see like you need to install the following packages so we'll just uh, go on this okay so first of all we have to uh, download the playwright latest version so i'm going to give like y to proceed and then uh, it has created a package.json file and then it's going to install the playwright all the dependency within the node modules folder and once that is done it will download all the browsers as well okay so that's it it's very very simple actually okay so that's it the installation is a uh, success now if you go to the test folder here you can see like example.spec.ts so by default it comes with the typescript um, test file okay and if you have to just execute it's very simple here you can see like green color this icon this double icon means it will execute all the tests within this test.describe block and if you want to run single test you can click on this green icon okay i'm going to click on that just to make sure that our installation is successful and the browser is going to execute okay so here we can see now actually you can see like the script is running but we are not able to see the uh, browser it is also passed but we are not able to see the browser because by default it will run in the headless mode to change that go to your playwright.config.ts file 
and within the use here you can say like um, headless colon false okay so that means now we can see the ui now let's go to the test again and here i'm going to click on the same test now this time we can see the browser ui itself okay so that's it the installation process is very simple thing uh, you have to just create a folder open the folder within vs code and then go to the extension download and install the uh, microsoft playwright test runner and control shift p to bring the command palette and then you have to say like install playwright that will download all the dependencies and also the uh, like all the browsers okay after that you can just start your test once your installation is successful then you can go with my playwright test runner i mean the playwright uh, entire playlist that will really help you so that's it from my side thanks for watching see the next one very soon still if you are facing any issues uh, do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to uh, solve that and one more thing is like uh, if you bring your control j that will bring the command palette right so here um, by default it will be like in the powershell just make sure that you are going to change it to git bash okay or uh, sometimes this uh this things might not work okay by default it will take it or else just change this to git bash and that should be fine okay so tada bye bye see you